relationship and then to take my knowledge of that relationship is based on my work in the Soviet foreign ministry, but also is based on the archives of the Gorbachev Foundation, where we have the records, the very detailed records of the conversations and negotiations between Mikhail Gorbachev and uh, Julio Andriotti. So I will just make a few points from my prepared remarks, as I understand my remarks in English will be made available to the participants in this uh, conference. So um, uh, let me just talk very briefly to summarize my uh, paper. The relationship between Mikhail Gorbachev and uh, Mikhail and uh, Julian Andriotti uh, today has to be seen in the context of a particularly difficult time in European history when practically everything that those two men desired and that they worked for is now in jeopardy. So the question is whether this means that their legacy should not be questioned, whether this means that their intentions and goals were just naive. I think that in uh, trying to answer those questions, we must consider the situation in Europe in the mid-1980s, when Gorbachev first proposed the idea of a common European house, and Andriotti was among the first to appreciate and welcome that idea. Initially, it met with a rather cool, rather lukewarm response from other Western uh, countries. Andriotti was one of those European leaders, uh, such as Margaret Thatcher and François Mitterrand, who were the first to appreciate Gorbachev, maybe for different reasons. For Thatcher, it was just a question of human trust. Uh, she just kind of clicked with Gorbachev and almost immediately she believed that this is a man with whom uh, the West must deal and with whom the West must do business. So far as Mitterrand is concerned, I think that his trust in Gorbachev was perhaps based on the ideological factor. Mitterrand believed in uh, social democracy, Gorbachev was evolving in the direction of, of social democracy. He was becoming a kind of social democratic rather than a communist politician. For Andriotti, the basis for his special relationship with Gorbachev was, I believe, his deep belief in Europe, his uh, belief that Europe must become Whole, must become an integral whole. And he saw in Gorbachev a person who was like-minded on this very important issue. 